Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, we had to do a fair amount of that yesterday, tracking and alerting. That's not going to be the case today, but it, that will somehow have a chance of re reviving itself tomorrow. Active pattern out there. Right now, just the beginning stages of uh, the sunrise. Grand Rapids, you can see a little bit of twilight in East Grand Rapids now showing up, but Storm Track Live radar dry right now. Look at all the rain we had yesterday, especially south of I-94, about one to three inches in that corridor there, officially at the JLR4 International Airport. Uh, 1.15 inches were just under five inches for the month of July, well above average, quite a turnaround from May and June. Visibility out there, yeah, we have some fog, especially building into uh, central western parts of uh, Allegan County, right down in the Van Buren County. That's where the, it's most dense, even around Hastings, we're reporting a quarter mile visibility, one eighth of a mile in the South Haven area. So be aware if you're traveling west on M43 and also I-94. Current temperature hovering right around 70 degrees in Grand Rapids, and you combine that with dew points, upper 60s, good combination combination without that uh, rain laying down all that moisture in the lower parts of the atmosphere. That's why we're having some of that fog issue uh, right now. We're having that fog issue. Uh, peak heat, heat indices uh, with those dew points and temperatures peaking around 90 degrees today. It's going to feel like the low to mid 90s today and mid to perhaps maybe upper 90s for Friday. We'll cut through that heat this weekend. Because of that heat, uh, we do have a, a heat advisory out there for our southern counties and it doesn't stop there. You can see it goes all the way into the deep south of course, you've heard all the headlines lately in the national news. System moves to the east, taking the showers and thunderstorms with it. We get a break today, but there comes the next one. That's going to be with us tomorrow, giving us a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. Dry today, lots of sunshine building in after the fog departs, and here comes a chance of showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow morning. Better threat would be north of Grand Rapids. And that's not a slam dunk that's going to happen, uh, but much better chance of showers and thunderstorms developing, it looks like, late in the day, Friday into Friday night. Today's risk area is off to the west, but you can see on Friday that two out of five category we call a slight risk will be in place for tomorrow. Eight day forecast, okay, cooling things off uh, with the humidity levels and temperatures as we head into the weekend, a lot of sunshine, partly mostly sunny conditions. And that big pleasant banner will take us right into the beginning of August. Yes, August, can you believe it, Tom? Hard to believe we're already going into August and then you know what, kids will be back in school. Taking a look at uh, how we're doing out there across area roadways, continued reminder that we have this uh, closure of Turner and that is between Leonard and 4th Street. Again, the good news is they've left one lane open so you do have access uh, from Leonard to the entrance ramp to southbound US 131. As we take a wider view of uh, the uh, West Michigan area here, taking a look at all the freeways in and around the Grand Rapids area, if you are getting ready to head out, head out the door, the good news is right now we do remain crash free across area freeways and we have clear and dry conditions for the most part out there. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan. All righty. Tom, thank you.